Hi everyone, this is Michelle Roberts and I just wanted to show you really quickly how to use Feedly, uh, how to find it and um, what you can do with it just to get you acclimated with it. Um, if you're taking part in the 31 day job landing course then you know that this is my preferred feed reader for uh, our daily dashboard and for the daily dashboard I just mean the area that you look to every day during your job hunting process that will have all of the information that you need stored of all the websites that you need to look at every day to find jobs to then be able to apply for jobs as well as all of the um, of websites that you want to make sure that you're staying on top of so that you can remain as um, influential and as beneficial and helpful to your network as possible so without further ado we're just going to go to feedly.com and you'll see here that um, these are all of the feeds on the left side of the screen that I subscribe to currently. And a really cool thing about Feedly is that you can arrange the feeds that you have in different categories. And so we'll just take a look at mine right now. And you see I have a lot of gluten-free feeds that I look at that I subscribe to. And so they're all, all of the feeds under this um, category are under the gluten-free category so I don't have any job landing uh, websites under the gluten-free category I don't have any textiles it's simply gluten-free so that helps me go immediately to what I want to um, focus on and then I have some other uh, categories here and the textile and fashion ones the uncategorized ones that's the list of all of the feeds that I monitor and I monitor a lot of feeds Okay, so let me back up a little bit and explain to you what a feed is. And so every website, most websites have what's called a feed. And so when you subscribe to that feed, anytime that website is updated, you can take a look at that. You get a notification that something has been updated, which is really handy because you don't want to have to go through this list of websites constantly that, you know, would require you to remember. Um, if something's been updated or not or remember to check if something's been updated so when you have a feed reader literally all Feedly does is it checks all of the websites you tell it to and it checks them for updates and as soon as it gets an update you see that reflected in the listing on the left side of the page so let's go through the uncategorized feeds here and you'll see what I'm talking about so I subscribe to the blog of Tim Ferriss and so when I click on it these are the updates that I haven't seen yet and so you can see that um, yesterday there were some articles that were updated May 19th May 18th and so as you go down through the feed you can see each individual article and so we'll click on this article the last one that was um, updated and then you see lots of different um, options here and so one of the options we'll just go through the list one of the options is to send this article to Evernote and Evernote is also part of our daily dashboard system and our job landing system and so we can send this article if it's interesting to us we can send this article straight to um, all of our Evernote notebooks and we can pick which Evernote notebook we want to send it to and I have Evernote linked to my Feedly account and that's what you see here so you also then can add different tags to it to the article if you want to remember it uh, via different tags you can share this article and this is where we're going to be using quite a lot of the functionality or I'm, I'm gonna want you to use that functionality so that you can share it if you wanted to tweet about this you can share this with your network and then you can um, also share it via LinkedIn and you can just choose that option there and you see that you can post to your groups as well and any of the groups that you're a member of you can post this article if you think it's useful and further to that you can also share in Hootsuite so um, that is a really great oppor opportunity here for you to go through all the websites that you want to stay up on and see if there's any content that you want to read you read it you find it useful you share it with your with your network so Feely makes that really easy to do and so what we do here obviously with the blog of author Tim Ferriss we are looking through here let's say um, 
that we're done. We've reviewed all the articles. Great. At the end, we say it's marked as all read so that you see it disappears when you look over to the left side. You don't see that show up in that feed list any longer. And so only the feed, feeds that have updates that you haven't seen yet will show up on this left side. So it's a really, really great way to um, keep track of everything that you want to be uh, up on. And um, the how do you add? So the next question should obviously be, how do you add a feed? Well, you come over here to this box. No matter where you are, you can click on the uncategorized feed. You can click on an individual feed if you like. doesn't really matter where you click. You can go home. And uh, this just kind of gives all of my feeds in, in, in a list, all of the articles that are new. So you just go over here into this uh, box on the right and you just start typing in and you just let's say that we're looking for fashion jobs and we have several different feeds and let's say that style bubble we are not um, subscribed to this feed yet because you see this little um, yellow button here that says plus feedly that means you want to add that to your feedly so then over on the left side you see style bubble you can mark it as a must read you can add the category that it goes to and so I will say this goes in textile and fashion and then you click add at the bottom and that is it and so that's how you use Feedly. That's just a really um, high level explanation of how you use it. And then once you um, get into using Feedly, you sign up for a free, you can sign up for a free account, I believe, or you can also go pro with it and pay some extra money and it has some extra functionality. So thanks for listening. This has been the expl explanation for how you use Feedly. And I hope that you found this very beneficial. All right. Thanks a lot.